Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Today, we're doing Monday Motivation. You already know the deal. If you're watching this on Monday, Monday Motivation, you already know what's up. And if you don't know what's up, now you know what's up, all right? That's how we do it out here in Merida on this channel and so on and so forth. So, as you guys can see, I am back to my walking and talking. I know it's been a while since I've done some walking and talking, but um, actually I found myself out here in the middle of El Zocalo, right here in the middle of El Centro, and I basically um, have to walk back home. I mean, I got two choices. I could walk home. I mean, I got two choices. Either jump in a taxi, all right, for a dollar and get home in a few minutes, or I can walk and film a video at the same time. And, um, you know, how more appropriate is it than uh, we're doing Monday Motivation today. And um, since we're doing Monday Motivation, bam. And what's the topic of today's Monday Motivation? Just do it. All right, basically. Um, I don't want to say that Nike stole that from me, but, you know, whatever. It's all good. They can have it. N Nike can have it. But basically, you know, what today's episode is all about is just, you know, um, just do it. Basically, that's, that's all it is. It's really not that complicated. Now, I know a lot of videos that I make when it comes to Monday Motivation, I'm repeating the same thing over and over and over again. In fact, today, I, 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 I need to and I wanted to make a Monday Motivation, but, you know, the thing is that unfortunately, I myself, you know, I didn't know what the hell I was going to talk about. You know what? I'm going to flip the camera around. Might as well show you. All right. I'll flip it back when there's nothing to see. But anyways, so basically, I didn't know what the hell I was going to talk about today. I was thinking about talking about patience. You know, you need patience, you know, blah, blah, blah. If you already know and you're doing what you love, then the next step is that you need patience and, and yada, 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 and all this other stuff, you know. Um, but basically... What we're gonna to be touching on today is just do it. And why just do it? Well, because again, a lot of times, it, it doesn't matter who you are. It seems that even me sometimes, even though this doesn't, this is not like a major affliction to me um, when it comes to, you know, the whole just do it thing. By the way, you gotta to come to this restaurant. This restaurant, Amazeballs. Check it out, check it out sometime. That's the, that's the other door, okay? So that white door, go in there, all right? There's air conditioning, no air conditioning, but the same restaurant. But anyways, you know, getting back on topic, it's just basically, you know, to just do it. Just fucking do it. Just like right now, I got this camera and I'm just doing it. And that's it. You know, this ain't really like, you know, again, rocket science, guys. You know, just pick up the camera, do something. Pick up the pen, do it. You know, do whatever, pick up the book. You start watching a YouTube video. Start doing the homework. Just whatever it is that you need to do, just do it. You need to get healthy. Stop fucking eating like, like a fucking pig and start doing some exercise. Whatever it is that you got to do, start doing it, okay? I'm going to keep repeating this shit over and over again because it seems like it doesn't, for whatever reason, it doesn't get through people's head. Look, I'm myself right now. I'm only a few weeks away. In fact, by the time you're watching this, I'm about a week and a half away from my wedding. I'm getting married. I know a lot of you guys know I'm getting married, but not everybody. Not, not everybody's fully aware that I'm, I'm getting married and all that shit. And so, you know, even for me, there's a million things that like, not only do I have to do, but I have to like um, push myself to do because they're really, really out of my comfort zone on so many levels. But what do I do? Do I sit here and complain? Do I just, um, you know, figure like I start pulling my hairs and start um, and start, you know, like um, deteriorating and start like, uh, you know, losing myself and all this shit. No, I don't do any of that. You know, what am I doing? I'm fucking out there doing it. And in fact, look, it was basically my girlfriend's idea to have like the wedding and do like the whole wedding thing and shit like that. But just like it happens to a lot of people, everyone gets overwhelmed. And again, this is, it doesn't have to just be a wedding, planning a wedding. It could be a million other things. People just get overwhelmed. Everything starts off like a great idea. Everything starts off on the right path. And then before you know it, you figure out you bit more than you can chew. And um, it, it can be very frustrating. And so, for example, you know, I love my girlfriend to death. She's the fucking one of the best things, if not the best thing that's ever happened to me. But, um, you know, we all got our situation. You know, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. You know, one of my strengths is just getting shit done. You know, that's basically one of my fucking things. Eric, you know, there's a lot of things I do, but one of the things that I'm known for is just getting shit done. 
By the way, every once in a while, you can find bathrooms and you only got to pay a few pesos, you know, five to 10 pesos and you can use a bathroom. So just in case you can look for those or you can ask and they will guide you. They will tell you where you can go to one for free or one that's paid for. Anyways. So back to what I was saying, which I completely lost track of. Oh yeah, the whole getting overwhelmed stuff. So all of a sudden, you know, I wasn't like that overwhelmed. I was fine. You know, I can handle it. I can handle like a lot of the things that I, you know, that, that I had as duties, you know, for like the wedding planning. Plus, you know, I got clients are like crazy this month. Plus, I also have, you know what I mean? Like my channel that I got to take care of. Plus, you know, now I got two channels. And again, you know, you look at what I got to take care of, take care of and do. It's like, it just, it's, it keeps insurmountable. It looks like insurmountable and it keeps growing. So all of a sudden, as my girlfriend is doing her list of duties for the wedding, you know, again, this is all her idea. All of a sudden she's starting to um, come across, um, you know, situations in which she is getting overwhelmed. And again, this happens to all of us. And it even happened to me. Look at the bike, look at that guy. Check that out, huh? It's like riding the bike in the Centro is fucking like, you're, you're asking to get fucking crushed. And I gotta come back here in a few hours, by the way, which uh, you might see in a video in the future on the other channel. But anyways, back to the topic at hand here. Look, I think these are kids or tourists or something. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> anyways, hey, you're getting my point of view here. So, but yeah, this is the whole overwhelm thing. Again, I get overwhelmed by certain things too. Like if I, if, if I am all of a sudden, you know, tasked to doing something that I am not comfortable with, you know, it could be very easily overwhelming. You know, again, I'm used to taking care of shit. And since I'm used to just getting it done, I know I already have my method for de deconstructing it and just taking care of it. So anyway, back to, you know, my girlfriend and why I'm bringing her up is only because a lot of you guys might be in the same position. A lot of you guys might find yourself in the same boat and so basically it's like the whole overwhelming thing it can really destroy anyone it can really kind of mess you up if you don't know how to handle it so again you know going back to what i was talking about so for example she started getting overwhelmed and so i i, I said okay don't worry i'll take care of this i'll take care of that i'll take care of what have you and i just started putting things on my shoulders and then all of a sudden before i knew it she wasn't overwhelmed anymore but all of a sudden like now i was the one that was overwhelmed now I'm the one, you know what I mean? That has to fucking, uh, all this extra weight on his shoulders. And so all of a sudden, at one point when I wasn't overwhelmed, and then before I knew it, just trying to help her out, I became overwhelmed. But again, all of a sudden then, I started organizing myself in a correct manner. And before I knew it, we got finished in fucking record time. In fact, we're sitting here today and, um, I got a good majority of the things already done. Like for reals, for reals. I mean, pretty much all the bulky, heavy stuff, we got pretty much done. And um, I think that by the end of this week, we're still two weeks out as of recording this. Today is Monday and you're gonna be watching this next Monday. So when you're watching this, I filmed this a week ago. And basically by the end, uh, by the time that you're watching this, we're pretty much done. You know, we're pretty much done. I got everything done. And um, for me, it was even more overwhelming because sure, I've thrown parties before. I used to do this professionally. I used to cater. I used to do all kinds of things. But, you know, one thing is trying to do all this stuff in a completely, not just a different city, in a different um, environment, but a completely different fucking country. I mean, you know, among other things. So it was a major challenge for me. So all of a sudden, as um, I started getting overwhelmed, I realized that, you know, the reason I'm overwhelmed is because I wasn't organized. You know how I talk to you guys about, you know, the fact that you need to, you know, have the five P's in place. What are the five P's? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. So if I already knew and I already was getting overwhelmed, my choice, my basic choice was to start, you know, actually I didn't have much of a choice, but you know, my next step was to organize myself is to get organized and once i started getting organized and i started putting everything in place and i started putting everything together all of a sudden before i knew it not only were things already you know working themselves out but things you know were getting done and knocked out now 
you know, you can look at some of my other videos talking about how I get organized better and um, how I do a lot of these things so you guys can have a little bit of a better uh, understanding of what I mean here. But basically, how it works out is that you need to have your beginning defined, you need to have your end defined, and then a little bit of your middle. And then you just gotta fill in the blanks. So for example, what is the end goal here um, for me and Christian in this, this thing that I'm talking to you guys about? And again, you can insert any single thing here. So, you know, here in this situation, it's the marriage. So me and Christian are getting married. So we know what the end goal is. We already know what the end of the story is. We need to be married by the end of the story. Now, what's the beginning of the story? Well, again, you know, we got to get, you know, figure out what we needed to do in order to get our paperwork, what kind of paperwork, what kind of things that we needed to do in order to start our story. So that was part two. Okay, part one was like, okay, define, define the fact of uh, the end goal. End goal, get married. Number two, um, how are we going to start? So what did I do? In my case, I had to figure out, okay, what kind of paperwork I needed to find and I needed to get. I went and I got all that. Same, for, same thing for Christian. You know, Christian went out of her way. You know, I mean, you know, went and did her homework to figure out what kind of stuff that she needed. Um, and then, you know, she got her stuff. I got my stuff. You know what I mean? Well, at least we defined the fact that we need X, Y, Z. And then, um, we kind of figured out, okay, what are we going to do? Are we going to do like a civil wedding? You know, just straight up, you know, go to court? Or are we going to have like a regular wedding? She said she wanted to have a regular wedding. So, bam, regular wedding. Plus, you know, the court thing is obvious, you know? So, right off the bat, you know, right off the bat, you know, we all of a sudden, you know, we figured out that, you know, what we, we know, the end goal. Yeah, so I just, you know, I wanted to show you when I see unique things, right? But anyways, end goal is to get married. Beginning goal is how we're gonna get married. And then the middle is like where we're gonna get married, you know, and all that shit. So then now it, it, it all came down to deconstructing everything and figuring it all out. So it's like, okay, well, where are we gonna get married? Um, what kind of, uh, you know, party are we gonna have? What can, and then that's it. And then it's just figuring all that stuff out and then planning around it and planning around it and planning around it. And the thing is that that's basically how you can do anything. It doesn't have to be just married. It can be anything. Starting a business, uh, figuring out if you want to go to school for biology or law. You know, it's, it's just pretty much ba pretty basic. I mean, how I learned all this, you know, how I learned all this was basically... Um, Back when I was in high school and I learned how to, you know, back when I look at all the buses, check it out. So basically, in high school, I learned from an from English class, one of my English class teachers, whatever, you know, how to write a story the basics of how to write a story and f and I pretty much use that template for everything now look at that that's pretty cool so look there you go that that should answer your wheelchair question for people out there as well all right I forgot about those things those things are not allowed in its centro but they're allowed in other parts of Merida you know which is like this uh motorbike with a wheelchair so you can be driving like kind of like a bicycle I mean uh, a motorcycle but it's a wheelchair all right for anyone out there that's interested in something like that please reach out to me and i'll give you more details all right but anyways so you know kind of back to that you know how i got you know how i got that um you know uh how, how i learned how to you know write a story you know whether it's a story for a fictional story or or something for school or whether it was writing my own story again it basically boils down to the same old thing it's not really again first of all it's just do it so you know, first of all, you got to decide that you want to write a story. Once you decide that you want to write a story, then you just come up with, again, the very, very simple end goal. You know, what do you want the end to look like? What do you want the end to be? All right. Then, you know, once you determine, once you determine the ending, 
then you gotta like again start the beginning how huh? where are you gonna start you know where is this story starting at what point and then you gotta figure out the middle and then once you figure out those three points then you start writing around that writing around it and keep writing around it until you have your full story and in fact if you do this correctly you usually have more story than than you know more story to fill than you normally would have because all of a sudden as you're you know doing um you know all of these um you know go arounds on how you know when it's like dissecting every single piece you know more and more and more you know you just come up with more bubbles around the story more uh information more stuff to add and then basically when you're putting it all together when you're putting up the whole story together then all of a sudden you're overwhelmed with information but it's better you know going back full circle to like you know being overwhelmed and all that shit you know in reality that's where you want to be you know look at that in reality that's where you want to be some tourists you know grabbing their car look at this traffic right before the traffic got there but anyways but yeah basically you know that's that's it it's about defining it's about defining the story and then writing in the story but if you yourself cannot even define your own story or you can't even define your own self and all that shit then how the hell are you ever going to come up with a with a story and um again the whole thing of overwhelm you know in in this in this instance you know when you come up you know when you do um when you construct your story this way and you have an overwhelming amount of information to make your story out of that's actually the position you want to be in because the most overwhelming thing that can actually happen to you is when you like literally have so little to add to your story that your story your life situation your anything is actually actually is actually more underwhelming than anything else and when you are you know when you have gathered enough information in order to do your thing and you realize that you don't have enough to put a story together and it's very underwhelming that is what can be really overwhelming and then that can be an insurmountable mountain only because you didn't do your proper homework you didn't do your proper you know everything and again this it's all you know basically a lot of these things that i'm telling you um to me they're all they, these things are already like common sense but i can understand at one point in my life not only were they not common sense but i had no idea how to get from point a to point b and it was also very very um overwhelming and that's the thing you know when you get so overwhelmed that it seems insurmountable that could be the killer of dreams that could be the killer of anything and that's the thing you know it's trying to get over that hump and uh, realize that you know the more you think about something the harder it is the less you think about it the easier it becomes and here let me just give you one quick prime example the reason i'm able to do these videos so easily more than anything now than before is because i i feel right now like i'm just talking to a friend i'm talking to people that already know me i'm talking to you know again you know um a family member on the other side but the minute that i start thinking about the fact that man i have a huge audience out there and even though i might only have like 2400 subscribers give or take the reality is that my reach is probably more than that and there's probably a lot more people watching me and then the ripple effect and so on and so forth and before you know it it's like my mind is like to push and that's the thing and when you're like overwhelmed with thinking about things like that again that is also another killer because it's all of a sudden you're like start becoming too self-aware more self-aware than you would want and then you start realizing holy shit i'm talking to a whole audience of people and they're looking at me naked and that whole deal and it just becomes even more difficult so it's like you know the whole self-awareness thing is sometimes letting letting your guard down to the point where you're not that self-aware you're self-aware about you but you're not you try to you know still blind yourself to the whole world out there because otherwise it can be extremely overwhelming and um it's all about balance and so many more things but you know what this is now more than anything else this is all about to end because guys i'm already here home i'm already stopped i'm already talking you already know the deal so guys 
I really hope you guys enjoyed today's Monday motivation. Um, a lot of times when I'm making these Monday motivations, like the last week's Monday motivation, I honestly was just throwing it together and I thought it was just a whatever Monday motivation. But basically you guys ended up telling me and ended up letting me know once again that it was one of the best Monday motivations for whatever reason that you've heard in a while. And um, you know, we're going back to, to the same thing. So, you know, that's why today is all about just do it because that's what I did in the last Monday motivation. I just strapped the camera on and I just did it with nothing, you know, except my thoughts as they came about and bam, sure enough, it helped you guys. And that's basically the only reason why I do these things. I wanna help you guys, it's not for anything else. And so sometimes when I put a lot of time into and a lot of effort and I'm really, again, you know, I'm looking at the audience, I'm doing all these things and I'm not looking so, you know what I mean? Like I'm doing it the other way around and I'm not I'm not just doing it. I'm planning, I'm over planning. I'm going through all these jumps, you know, and hoops. And a lot of times these, those are the videos that are like the least successful. Like the one that I did for my channel last week when I was walking around the town. I just brought my camera and I showed you around that small little Pueblo of Teco. And again, it was one of my best videos. Thanks to, you know, you guys let me know how awesome it was. Again, the camera is helping a lot, but that's not, you know, again, just like in the Monday Motivation, you know, you're not looking at, you know the sights and scenes you're basically listening to what i have to say and that's the thing guys you know um it, just the last thing i'm gonna say again just do it i don't know what else to say when you start just doing it and just doing it and just doing it and really stop giving a fuck about you know the uh, external noise and you stop listening to things that don't matter and you start listening to things that actually do matter like you that's when again the magic really starts to happen but it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of patience it takes a lot of a lot of a lot a lot of many many things so guys with that being said thanks again for watching but again before i finish don't forget you got a little gary v action or some sort of uh, motivational action at the end of this but again guys at the end of the day you already know the deal don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please check uh, Hit that bell icon, check out the other channel, check out all the links at the bottom. But more important than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow on the other channel. Bye. There's a reason that guys and gals like me continue to have audiences because people want to be motivated to go and do things or they want to learn tactics to go and do things. But it, whether I'm giving you tactical advice like filters on Snapchat or Facebook ads or Instagram story collaborations uh, or I'm motivating you through my words because I communicate that way or through my actions, seeing this wake up at five. Work it. <laughs> if everybody who's watching this actually did something about it and then went on the course of their version of it, then they wouldn't be watching this. And I genuinely know at the bottom of my heart, out of all the people that want to build audiences, that I'm the complete opposite of almost all of them. Because 99% of people that produce content like this and are out there like I am, the business of being that is what they are. I have businesses. I have Wine Library and VaynerMedia. I don't need your 14 bucks for my book or to be in my course or this and that. So I don't need to monetize you. So I then genuinely want you to never watch me again. The problem is, every time you guys are posting, do you know how many times I see on my, on my Instagram, oh, I needed this today? And do you know how many times I see that person nine months later still hanging around? If you needed it, then take it and do something about it. The reason there's gonna be a billion motivational views today on YouTube is that people love the feeling of being motivated. They don't like putting in the work to do something about the feeling. I hate the motivation of me until you do something about it.